Good evening ladies and gents, I'm just making this vlog right now, uh, yeah this is to do with the boxing on Saturday, in my last vlog I totally forgot to mention about Lawrence Akoli, yeah good performance, uh, he outpointed and beat uh, the Argentinian cruiserweight boxer uh, Mariano uh, Angel uh, Guardino or something like that, whatever his name was. Yeah, uh, a decent display. I'm not going to say he was the best display, but a decent display. He did for a lot of punches that didn't land, but however, his style was affected, effective. He was landing, he was landing a lot of shots and the guy was just basically dancing around the ring and avoiding uh, the shots, but his style was very effective uh I, I could say he could do the little bit more um movement and can improve his technique but he's doing well so far in his in his career i think this this was his 13th fight so he's he's still young he's still got a lot a long way to go and he's gonna improve as time goes along another source uh were reports going on about uh, Dave Allen, yeah, with his fight with uh, David Price. I've been hearing uh, that uh, he collapsed and he he was um, rushed to hospital somehow. Uh, yeah, uh, this is um, very serious. I've been um, also hearing reports that he he's considering retire retirement from boxing yeah uh, this is very sad news uh I, I watched the fight and um he was taking some meaty jabs by david price i believe uh yeah price was the underdog and allen was the favorite as well and uh there was a lot of pressure on david price because people were starting to turn on him and uh because um they were saying his last few performances wasn't too great. Uh, Price did get uh, stopped by uh, Alexander Povetkin uh, last year. I think it was at the end of the year, just before Povetkin fought Anthony Joshua. So there was a lot of pressure on David Price, so he had to perform. And uh, his um, style was, was effective. He could have been a little bit more aggressive, but however, it took a big impact on uh, David Allen yeah yeah, um, yeah Allen just couldn't cope with the pressure and um, it's very sad to see yeah, this happening in boxing but it's a it's a very brutal sport I, I hope um, David Allen is okay and he comes back that's if he decides to come back in the ring and I hope it's not any serious long lasting injury so best of luck to David Allen and um, wishing all the best. Hopefully he can come back as soon as possible. Yeah, well, that's my review for the boxing that happened at the O2 on Saturday. Yeah, all of the fights on the dinner and white show, all the undercard fights. Yeah, some very entertaining fights that went on. But just looking forward for the future with this big lightweight showdown with uh, Vasily Lomachenko and uh, Charlie Edwards uh, look at no sorry sorry not Charlie Edwards sorry Luke Campbell sorry yeah Vasily Lomachenko and Luke Campbell I'm, I'm looking forward to that that's going to be a very good fight very entertaining I don't know who's going to win uh, <laughs> that's a 50-50 one but it's going to be very entertaining so good luck to Luke Campbell in, in that in that um, mouth and clash for the lightweight world title. Okay, I'm out of here. I'm signing out. This is Xander Sportsman. Good night to you all.